שלום, ברק תהי הלאה, בעל שם, יחר שי, בעל שם לקר קדש, All praises and glories that we really do. Matanas and respects to the apostles and others, the great millstone, and to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and truth, rightfully dividing the word of truth, I say shalom. All right, to this lesson I'm going to title News and Prophecy. So we're going to open up with this, this latest uh, shooting. All right, Kansas City police shot. All right, an Israelite woman, all right, who said she was pregnant and had her hands in the air. I believe she was shot five times in the back. Now, I know a lot of Israelites out there, brothers and sisters, go, oh, there's another, you know, you know, uh, these shootings. Well, you people need to put things in perspective, all right? That's what the Bible does, all right? It puts things in its perspective, all right? First off, I believe she was in a stolen car, okay? You understand that? She was in a stolen car, all right? Think about that. Now, I'm not making an excuse for Esau, so don't get it twisted, Okay? Uh, a lot of these Edomites, okay, not all the cops, but a lot of these Edomites, you know, they have that, you know, uh, what is it called? Enmity, all right? That you read in uh, Genesis 3.15, all right? That the Lord placed in the serpent seed Esau. All right, that enmity. Go look that word up. All right, so you have the understanding. All right, it's a hatred. All right, an everlasting hatred. Okay? And the scriptures speak about that enmity, that hatred that Esau would have throughout, how he would never let up. Okay? You understand? Have, have not they had their foot on our necks for the past 530 years in the Americas? There you go. All right. So anyway, you guys can go to this article. All right. But let me give you some quick understanding here. All right. You know, if, if you're not serving the Lord, if you haven't, Come back to him, to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and repent it of your ways, and you have no covering. You understand that? You're naked. Just like when it speaks about Adam and Eve being naked in the garden, that is not literal, people, that they were without clothes. Them being naked was that the fact is they broke the law. They transgressed the law, which means this. What is sin? Transgression of the law. 1 John 3 and 4. So now they had no covering. That's what that's talking about. Them being naked. All right? Anyway, give me a minute. All right, this is Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. See, there are no other gods. Okay, those false idols of worship that Esau worships, the Quasi, uh, Moloch, and so on and so forth. They're not gods. There are no other gods. Okay? It's just the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. You understand that? Let me read it again. See now that I... Even I am he, and there is no God with me. And if you go to Isaiah, the 45th chapter, you'll read, there are no other gods again, several times there. All right? So, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. See, the issues of life and death belong to the Lord. Whether 
it's by Esau's hand, okay? Or whether it's a car accident, you know, some tractor trailer crashing into you. I mean, look at Kobe Bryant. He's in a helicopter with his daughter. That's all judgment, people. It's judgment. A bird, it tells you in the scriptures, all right? A sparrow, right? If it falleth out of the sky, it is because the Lord sanctioned it, all right? So neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. See that? Do you understand? Let me give you something else to give you further understanding. All right. We're going to go to Ezekiel. All right. Give me a minute. All right. This is Ezekiel 21. We'll start at the 8th verse. Read down to the 12th. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came out to me saying, Son of man, prophesied to say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. All right, this sword will be Esau, the vessel. Is Esau Edom, the white man, that the Lord's going to use to come down on two-thirds of you Israelites. All right? So what you think you're seeing and viewing, if you think that's something, you ain't seen nothing yet. All right? We're living in the time of judgment, people. And what does the Lord say in Amos, right? The ninth chapter, he will start sifting with his own house, the house of Israel, among you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You get it? Do you understand that? All right? So, the sword is sharpened, it is also furbished. It is sharpened to make a saw slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth, mirth meaning should we make joyful amusement, party, have a good time? Absolutely not. It condemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he have given it to be furbished, right, the sword, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. All right, now ultimately that slayer is Yahweh Shai. But he, how, how's he going to do this? He's going to use Esau to do it. All right? They're going to come in like a flood. All right? Verse 12, cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon who? My people. I repeat, my people. The nation of Israel, particularly who? The two-thirds. Why? Because you put, wouldn't hearken onto the word. Okay? You, you couldn't see, all right? And you couldn't hear, which means to understand, to hearken onto this word, because the Lord sent the prophets. So you don't have an excuse, which means is you have no covering. You're naked. You don't have a head of protection. You understand? So you're going to see a lot more of this. All right? So it shall be upon my people, and it shall be upon the princes of Israel. There you go. All right? Yasharala, princes of the power, the sons of God, right? Of the Most High. So terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people, smite therefore upon thy God. There you go. All right, give me a minute. And I'm just going to do this one more, all right, for you. All right, give you another precept. And then I'm moving on, all right, to uh, prophecy of destruction, all right, which obviously is not just onto the Edomites, the white man, but also onto you two-thirds of Israelites, all right? So he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. The scriptures, and the, and the Lord has set up the prophet. But you people rather trust and believe 
in Esau, Edom, all right, and his churches, his politicians, his media, okay? You, you rather be deceived, okay? You, 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 you're more comfortable being deceived. You, 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 you rather believe in lies than want to hear the truth, all right? And the truth is you're going to die, all right? And you don't want to hear it, and you don't want to repent, all right? All right, so, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. See, you would have no understanding, all right? Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy, shut their eyes. Speaking of you two-thirds, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, all right? To hear means to understand, people, all right? And understand with their heart, heart in Hebrew is lab, which means your mind, and convert and be healed. See? The two people don't want to do that. Then said the Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted. See this? Without an inhabitant. So it's talking about what? Destruction. <coughs> All right? And the house is without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Yeah, destroyed. All right, people. Give me a minute. We're moving on. All right, prophecy of destruction. Let's move on with that. Give me a minute. All right. Just going to give you this one precept, and then we're going to come back with part two, all right, of uh, news and prophecy of destruction. This is Jeremiah 28. We'll start at 7. Nevertheless, hear now this word that I speak into thy ears and in the ears of all people, right, to all nations. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms, right? Of war and of evil and of pestilence. What are your pestilence? Your plagues, all right? All right, verse 9. The prophet which prophesieth the peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord, Yahweh, have truly sent him. So we've been telling you what's going to happen, whether it's the famine, uh, the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, uh, uh, the Esau coming down, Upon you, Israelites, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans with great wrath, Revelation 12 and 12, you know, Revelation 12, 17. We, from our elders on down, we done told you. We told you about the MOTB, all right, the Karagma. We warned you not to take it, right? That judgment, you know, if you take it, you read Revelations 14 and 10, all right? All right, people, we'll be right back with part two. Shalom.